10.1.2 Potable Water So water that is safe to drink contains sufficiently low levels of dissolved substances and microbes and it's called potable water So make sure you know potable water has sufficiently low levels of dissolved salts and microbes to make it safe to drink Now where you get your drinking water from, your potable water from depends on where you live It depends on the conditions of the water near where you are and the source of the water so a water company, they're looking for water that has got low levels of dissolved substances. So it makes it easier for it to be removed. And rainwater is a great source of this. And that builds up in rivers, in lakes, and in reservoirs. The process goes like this. There's three steps to it. First of all, choose a suitable source, one that has low levels of substances already dissolved in it. Second is to filter it to remove any of the solid particles and the third one is sterilize You can sterilize in three different techniques ultraviolet light will kill a, a Significant number of microbes to make it safe to drink ozone will and also adding chlorine will sterilize the water Now if you live somewhere where fresh water isn't available So you don't have rivers you don't have lakes or reservoirs where you can collect the water then Desalination of salty water can take place. So desalination can take place by removing the water by a process called distillation. We heat the salty water and as the water evaporates, it condenses. This requires a lot of energy, so therefore it's a very expensive process. But distillation is a way of removing pure, producing pure water from salty water. Another technique is called reverse osmosis. You've heard this word of osmosis, which is the movement of water mo molecules from a large concentration to a low concentration. Well, with enough energy and enough force, you can create pure water from salty water by a process called reverse osmosis. This is where, um, through a membrane, the water particles pass through, but the salt particles don't. Again, it requires a lar large amount of energy to make that happen, so therefore it's a costly process. So filtering and sterilizing is your cheapest way of producing potable water. But desalination of salty water by distillation or reverse osmosis will produce pure water that's safe to drink too.